everyone, welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie, and today we're hanging out with some of our guinea pig friends. This is Carmel. Guinea pigs are commonly kept as pets, which is why it's so important to have plenty of information about their care easily accessible to potential and current owners. These cuties can make a wonderful addition to your household, but it also takes a lot of work to care for them and provide the best possible home. We have a great video covering what guinea pigs are, where they originated, and general care guidelines, and I highly recommend it to anyone who currently has them as pets or is looking to get them in the future. The link is in the description below. Today, I wanna to go a little more in depth on just one part of their body, and to do that, I'd like to hand it over to my lead animal keeper, Taylor, who works closely with our guinea pig herd. Thanks, Jesse. Yes, let's take a closer look at these little piggies' feet. Guinea pigs have very tiny feet, but they require a lot of care and attention. First, let's talk about their toes. Guinea pigs have four toes on their front feet and three toes on their back feet, and each toe has a tiny little claw. When guinea pigs are young, their nails will be really small, and they may not need to be trimmed, but as they get older, they will definitely need regular trims. Some guinea pigs will have nails that go straight, but some will have nails that start to curve or turn sideways. It's really important to make sure that they stay short to prevent any discomfort and to prevent them from curving down into their sensitive pads. This could cause sores or even infections. When trimming nails, make sure that you just clip the tips and avoid the quick. If you're new to trimming nails or you're nervous about trimming them too much, make sure to have a backup plan just in case of an accident. This will help you feel more comfortable when you're taking on the task. Your backup plan is having styptic powder or cornstarch nearby in case you trim them too short. If they do start to bleed, just take a pinch of that styptic powder or cornstarch and press it firmly against the nail and hold it there for about 30 seconds. This will help to quickly clot the blood and stop it from bleeding anymore. Then make sure they go home to a clean environment to prevent any germs from entering the little wound. Also keep an eye on the toe and watch for any signs of infection such as inflammation or heat. Now let's talk about the pads of their feet. Guinea pigs do not grow any fur on the bottom of their feet, so their pads can be very sensitive. Some guinea pigs pigs will grow spurs on their front feet. This is just extra skin that grows between their toes or on the back of their feet. It's most likely a genetic condition, and it's not due to the type of bedding or flooring in their enclosure. However, the spurs can get caught on rough bedding and they can tear. To prevent tearing, the spurs can be carefully trimmed using nail clippers. But be careful not to trim them too far because you could cause bleeding. Any cuts or injuries on the bottom of their feet should be cleaned immediately to prevent infections or pododermatitis. Pododermatitis is a condition that causes inflammation, sores, and overgrowth of spurs on a guinea pig's feet. It's also commonly called bumblefoot. Pododermatitis is often caused by a staphylococcus bacteria entering the foot through cuts or scrapes. If you notice any inflammation, sores, hair loss, or limping, you'll want to contact your vet right away. Thankfully, the bacterial infection can be treated with antibiotics if it's caught early. If it's left untreated, it could become much more serious to their health. To prevent pododermatitis, make sure that your guinea pigs are properly housed and well cared for. Keep their enclosures clean and dry. Wet enclosures can soften their pads or cause cracking. Also, make sure that they have soft bedding and smooth bottoms to their enclosures. You should also also avoid wire-bottomed enclosures because they can cut into their feet or cause sores. Finally, make sure that they're getting enough vitamin C and other nutrients. If you have any questions or concerns about the health or the nutrition of your guinea pigs, feel free to contact your vet. Thanks, Taylor. I really enjoy caring for guinea pigs, and over the years, I've loved seeing how social they are. It's so important to make sure you keep guinea pigs in a social group of at least two, if not more. Each one has a unique personality and fun quirks to discover. Sometimes the best quirks only come out when they're with other guinea pigs and when they're feeling their best. So in order to keep them happy and healthy and silly, make sure they have friends. You're giving them proper care, and you regularly check their feet and toes. You want it? Yes. Thank you for joining us and learning about some very special tiny pig feet. If you want to go on an adventure with us every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana, and we'll see you next time.